Hello everyone and welcome to another vacuum cleaner unboxing and yes I have a treat for any Dyson fans out there because I'm going to be unboxing this brand new Dyson Cinetic Big Ball Bagless Cylinder or Canister Vacuum Cleaner. This one I didn't have to pay for, one of the few vacuum cleaners I got free. This was supplied very kindly by the retailer AO.com. So they sent me this on the proviso that I send them a written review and also a video review. This is just the unboxing, there will be a further review to come. Okay, without any further ado, let's have a look. I don't know much about this. I had a look, a, look at uh, the Dyson website before I received this cleaner, just to see what came in the box. And looks like there is a lot. So let's have a look. This is a bit uh, not very well packed for Dyson, whether it's been out of the box, just loose. I've never had one of these. All the other Dysons I've had recently on my channel haven't been animal versions, so I've not had the Tangle Free Turbine. Look at that. It's designed to remove pet hair without getting tangled up around the brush roll like on a conventional vacuum. So, that's very interesting. Looks like it pivots. Very nice. So that's the first thing out of the box. Of course, in the full demo, I'll be seeing how well it does clean pet hair from upholstery. And you can use that on your stairs as well, I expect. So that's the first thing. Next. Oh dear, I should have got my scissors. I didn't realize, in fact, I'll, I'll just lean over and get them. Always handy to have. Okay, some more cleaning tools. So, it's all slightly new and different. I'm quite familiar with a lot of the newer Dysons, but uh, this looks like a redesigned combi tool. It all looks, yes, that's, that seems a lot longer actually. It's a nice full-sized crevice tool. Slightly different button fitting, click fitting. Yes, it's all a little bit different. You've got your brush, or oh, it comes completely off if you want to have it completely off. It's designed to stay on, I think. There we go. So you've got your brush on the end, nice soft flared brushes for doing your dusting jobs. And you can just retract the brush upwards in order to use it just as a crevice tool. But it's nice that it comes off because if you need to get down you know, right down a very deep sofa or something. You don't want this brush in the way. So, that's a little bit different. Okay, what's next? In this bag we have... Um, I'm assuming, I don't know yet until I've assembled it, assuming that could be to hold the tools. Could be the accessory holder. Not sure, but we'll soon find out. And this is another brand new nozzle I've never seen. I think Dyson called this a stair tool. Completely new to me, this nozzle. You can use that on your upholstery as well, I expect. You don't have to just use it on your stairs. So, a completely redesigned nozzle there. So that's interesting. And, what's this? No, I'll save that one. Oh no, I'll get it out now. I think this might have been out of the box, I don't know. Not sure. It all looks brand new anyway. I'm not. I'm not going to moan. You know, I got a free vacuum, so um, it's not as if I had to fork out my hard-earned money. So this again is, is a tool I've never had any experience of. The brush roll is very similar to the, apart from it's being wider, it's very similar to the brush roll on my Dyson V6 cordless. Very similar. This, of course, is an air-powered turbo nozzle. Looks like there's the inlet. There's a little mesh screen over there, so I think that could be the air inlet. I'm not sure. Again, it articulates. Moves up and down. Just being posh, saying articulates. This is all articulates means. It just moves up and down and side to side and all which ways, you know. So, anyway. That is your articulating turbo tool. So again, in the full demo, we'll be seeing how effective that is. I think you can use it on hard floors as well, but 
course I will read the instruction book, which I haven't seen yet. Hopefully it's in there. Next out of the box, oh, some sort of a little adapter tool. I'm wondering why we're having an adapter. So I've got some sort of adapter. It says quick release adapter, little instruction book. It could be, ah, it says here, congratulations on buying the latest Dyson technology. This adapter makes your new machine compatible with older Dyson tools and accessories. Just a little thank you from us. So, hmm, I've got a couple of older Dyson tools. I've got the uh, long dusting brush and the extra long crevice tool. So I will see if they fit this new Dyson. So that's what you get that for. So I suppose, well, it's only right that they should supply that if they've changed the fitting. It's a little bit annoying. If you uh, buy a similar vacuum to one you've got and you find you can't use the tools. Now this is the contact head. I have experience of this head with my Dyson DC28C. There will be a link to a list of Dyson um, demos I've done on my channel. I'll put a playlist underneath the video and in the video if you want to check them out. But it, yes, that looks exactly the same. Apart from it could, all these look slightly different. The fittings have changed, which is uh, why obviously Dyson have provided the adapter. I didn't find the DC28C very good on pet hair with this standard tool. Obviously we've got the animal version now, so it should perform a lot better. Here we have the wand. It's still quite bulky. Not, I don't think it's as bad as the wand I got with the DC28C, but it's still quite a thick, a thick wand. I'm assuming it's telescopic, there's a red button here. Yes. Yes, it, is, it seems a little bit slimmer than the earlier Dyson ones, but still, it's still quite, it's still quite fat. Anyway, it's all plastic. Seems quite tough. There we go, so that is the extension wand. Oh, oh, phew. Here is the instruction book. I'll just read out the energy labeling on this particular Dyson. So it gets an E. It's probably the only E vacuum cleaner I've um, recently opened and tested for energy. So it's a relatively high wattage. I think it's 1200 watts. I'll check that when I open the machine. So it's an E for energy. It uh, gets an A for dust emissions. So it should keep the dirt inside, apart from when you empty it, of course, and then it'll fly out into the air. So best to empty it outside um, rather than inside your home. It only gets a D for carpet cleaning. Mm, not too good. Well, it's between A and G, so D. It's, well, it's, it's quite low, really. A, though, for hard cleaning performance. 83 decibels, so possibly not the quietest vacuum cleaner. So I'll be looking at that instruction book in more detail, certainly before I do the demonstration. Right, I think that's everything apart from the cleaner and the hose, of course. Oh, it's, ooh, it's very, it's almost, it's almost round. I'll be unwrapping that in a moment. Oh, looks very swish. And the hose, mmm. The hose looks, oh no, there's, some, there's another piece as well. This, which is a new, a new feature, I'll show you that in a minute. And that's everything, let's move the box to one side. The hose is very short. I'll have to measure it and tell you underneath, but it, it, to me, it looks about 1.5 meter, one and a half meter hose. So that is fairly short, really. I like to see a bit of a longer hose on a vacuum, but it does seem very short. So it's uh, flexible. Um, I was thinking, I think it was tapered, but I don't think it's tapered. It does seem, it seems quite a large diameter, but it does seem the same. Unless my eyes are deceiving me, it seems the same. That's obviously the cleaner end. There seems to be a release button there. That's the end where we're going to put the articulating, the new feature. I think they call it an articulating handle. 
pivots for less effort, it says. There we go. Let's have a look at the handle. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, it looks a bit like some plumbing. Um, there we go. It's got a suction, a suction release trigger. So if you just want to briefly reduce the suction for cleaning a lightweight rug or you're cleaning your curtains or some loose upholstery. But so uh, yes, it's, uh, it moves. It's more articulated, so it moves from side to side. Oh, and it completely moves up and down like that. So you'd put the hose on this end with Dyson's hopefully satisfying click. That's one thing I do like about Dyson, so have a nice satisfying click. Will this have a nice satisfying click? Let's find out. Yes, it's quite satisfying. And it's on there nice and securely. That comes off. I'll be checking in the demo if we can put the cleaning tools. Well, no, I knew that. Why wait for the demo when I can do it now? Right, the cleaning tool doesn't fit directly onto the hose end, but it might, I'm not sure. Hmm. I was going to say it might might with this adapter. Ah, oh, it might do. Oh, no, it doesn't. Hmm, but that's for the older Dyson tool. That's a shame if that's not the case. I will confirm or deny it in the full demo, but I do seem to remember with my Dyson DC28C and, and earlier Dysons that I've had, you could actually connect the any of the small teak cleaning tools directly to the end of the hose, which was good for use in tighter spaces like inside your car. So it might still be possible. Um, obviously, this is all very new to me. I'm learning as I'm unboxing, so it might or may not be the case. But this certainly will fit in, as I showed you earlier. And then, oh, that's a little bit, well, a bit stiff, it's brand new. But so we've got the stair tool fitted directly on the handle. So it's all, it's all a little bit different. So Dyson have made some changes, apart from, of course, in the cleaner, that is stiff though. It is new out of the box. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Oh, hopefully that will loosen up in time. Right, let's have a look at the ball itself. Oh, look at that, folks. Yes, it seems, it seems a lot more compact than the DC28C. Here's the plug protected inside a little box of its own and it should be fitted yes with a UK plug and branded can we see branded Dyson nice round design so so of course with all Dysons well not all but all Dyson mains powered vacuums there is a five year parts and labour guarantee if you register it with Dyson when you purchase it, you can do that online and you'll benefit from being on their database. Well, they'll benefit from you being on their database, but also you can log into a little section on their website. I believe it's called My Dyson and um, you can buy optional tools or spares and get support as and when. I certainly prefer it to the DC28C, which always seemed a little bit big and bulky. That seems much smaller. Um, I like the uh, colour. We've got the red highlights. And the silvery type cyclone. It looks like it's a, it's a double tier cyclone. Oh, can't see it. Um, yes, it's, uh, it looks good. Quite like it. Very different mesh. That looks metal, the mesh screen. Let's take the bin off. See me press, press this button. That is quite that's quite a heavy bin to be honest, on its own. Obviously, I was gonna say where's the filters, but there isn't. Being a cinetic or kinetic, however you pronounce it, I would say cinetic, because I would thought kinetic would be with a K, but anyway. However you pronounce it, it means there's no filters. I don't think there's any sort of filter. There may be a final filter, but I don't think it's, it's really a user serviceable one. Again, I'll check all this out before the demo and, and fill you in. Dyson Cinetic, or Kinetic, big ball, animal, 
So there's the bin, so how do we open the bin? Ah, there's another button here, lower down. So instead of having it at the top, which I do prefer having it there, but it's a bit lower down, but it's not right down at the bottom like you get on some cleaners. Let's see if it opens first time. Oh! I'd completely forgotten it's that completely new bin, isn't it? I think that is metal. Can you see that very fine mesh screen? Now the problem with a lot of the Dysons, including the earlier Dyson Ball cylinder models, I don't want to force it, hang on. Anyway, as I was saying, oh it's got an instruction how to do it. Da -da -da. Doesn't show how you close it again. Um, a problem. <laughs> right. Perhaps I should have read the instructions beforehand, but I can't seem to close that now. What this does, anyway, a problem with the earlier, um, some of the earlier Dyson cylinders, a lot of the dirt got trapped around this part, especially pet hair. So you'd have to put your hand up to try and release it. And I believe even some versions came with a little brush that's stored on the unit. So you'd have to put this little brush up. So Dyson have thought about this. They've also thought about this on their new V8 cordless machines. They have a similar type of bin emptying where the shroud is supposed to be wiped clean as you empty. Of course, I will be filling this up in the demo and we'll see if this feature works. But for the life of me, I'm not sure how, once I've got it open, oops, oh there we are, there we go. There'll be a way of doing it, do, do, I do apologise. Obviously, if you get this machine, read the instructions. So I'll just show you that bin emptying again. So you press it, press it down, and as you can see, the whole container moves down. So even if this, this is easier to access anyway, if it does need to be cleaned, but as I say, it is supposed to wipe really, wipe it clean every time you empty. Then you'd press it again. That's right, so it's a, it's a two, two stage. Press it once to lower the bin to clean the shroud. Press the button again to actually open the door. Oh, that's it, that seems fine. It seems odd that there's no filter in this. I just think, right, where's the filter, where's the filter? Obviously, there isn't one. No filters, no bags, no nothing. But it does say there's a warning on the ball, which is basically, apart from this bit sticking out at the bottom, it's basically a ball. Um, oh, they're smooth running. Oh, not so smooth. Listen to that. This one seemed a bit smoother. Not too bad. Um, yes, it says do not use on rubble, plaster or ash. So Dyson obviously have a problem with filtering out uh, debris like that. Um, you shouldn't be using, well, you, you can't use a vacuum on hot ashes, but there's no reason why you can't use it on cold ashes or plaster. But plaster dust, of course, is very fine as, and rubble, well, that's not fine, but that could damage the machine. If you're using it on general household dirt you shouldn't have a problem. I'll just confirm the wattage for you. Oh, it's actually 1300 watts. So that is quite high. In fact, um, if we stay in the EU, which UK are voting very soon whether to stay in the European Union or not, it was an EU directive that forced vacuum manufacturers to lower the wattage of their cleaners. So currently, they can't produce vacuums over 1600 watts. So this falls under 1600. But in 2017, if we're still in the EU, um, that will lower to 900 watts. So next year, if this machine's still going, they'll have to produce a new version with a 900 or lower wattage motor. Here's the suction inlet, just at the top there. Two tiny wheels on the back. And you've got your on-off switch and, of course, your automatic flexi-wind. And part of the carry handle, you'd obviously carry the machine using the bin handle when the bin's actually attached. 
So all in all, that's everything to show you. I will turn it on briefly, but this is just the unboxing and first look. But I must say, I think it's quite dinky. I'm, I'm much like preferring this to the other Dyson. I've never got on, I've had a lot of Dyson machines. I've never liked any of the cylinder cleaners I've tested or even before I was on YouTube, I had, I had machines before, and I didn't like them. I didn't find them very convenient. That's a nice smooth action. So maybe this machine will change my mind. There will be a red sticker coming up. You're not supposed to pull out beyond there, so I'll just rewind a little bit. And I'll plug it in, but let's uh, attach the hose first. But yes, it's not, it's not a light cleaner, I won't lie to you. It's quite a hefty machine. It is compact though. So let's see where we put the hose. Ah, the hose, as you can see, fits underneath. There we go, there it is. And this is obviously the side we pop the hose into. So it's just a case of pushing it until another satisfying click, hopefully. Lovely. Got to love the click. So that's in securely. And it swivels, which is good. But to release it, in case you get a blockage, you just press on the red lever there and it easily comes off. I believe there was complaints about some of the Dyson canisters in the past had quite a narrow path. Although this one, no, it seems a lot better. I'm sure the Dyson engineers know about the problems they have with existing or previous products and they do something to change them. So it seems that Dyson have made some changes to this brand new big ball animal cleaner. Hopefully they're changes for the better. So, oh, another lovely click putting in the mm, turbine. I was going to say motorized, it's not motorized. It's a carbon fiber turbine. Unfortunately, Dyson don't do any motorized cylinder cleaners with a, an electric motor in. They did a motor, a couple of motorhead, no it's not the heavy metal band, but they did a couple of motorhead vacuums in the past. But um, they don't, not even in America where they like their powered head canister cleaners, they don't seem to. Perhaps they will at some point, especially if this machine comes out with a less than 900 watt motor and they want to improve the performance, they may, who knows, they may be considering a powerhead version of this. It may even be on the drawing board as we speak, or all designed and ready to be launched. Who knows? I know nothing. I'm not privy to Mr. Dyson's secrets. There we go. I must say, oh, that goes very high. Let me just do that. Ooh. If you're very tall, you won't be snooping with this cleaner. I'm not that tall, so I'm gonna have to lower that. It's too much for me. That's about a nice height for me. Yep, so it's manageable. Right, I think, I think, I think I like it so far, but I've not even plugged it in. So I'll do that right now and we'll give this Dyson Big Ball Animal just a quick go of the carpet. And of course stay tuned because I'll be doing a full demo very soon. Before I switch on, I'd just like to show you that you can indeed attach the tools directly to the hose end. That's good to know. Uh, I had a quick look at the instruction book while I was pausing the camera and as you can see the tool fits directly on so that's ideal as I said to inside your car so if that tool fits on I'm assuming that every other tool supplied yes you've got the tangle free turbine that also fits on and I'll show you anyway but uh, I'm sure it will yes the crevice tool so, as I said, ideal for the car because you've got a little bit more manoeuvrability in a tighter space. Okie dokie. Let's now connect the hose to the handle. Again, wait for the click. Lovely, lovely jubbly. Right, I've had a quick preview of the sound of this. It's not the quietest. Not many Dyson cleaners are whisper quiet. That's something really they should be working on, I think. But anyway, let's give it a go. Switch on. The head 
is easy to push, certainly the turbine head is, far easier to push than the, the straight suction nozzle. Um, yeah, seems easy. Let's see if it does, this machine is supposed to not topple over, or if it does, it's supposed to be like a weeble. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down, if you remember the old ads. Well, this might fall down, but it is supposed to right itself. In this confined space where I'm filming, it's a bit tricky to show you. But let's see if we can do it. Well, it's going to fall over. Fall over, damn you. It doesn't want, it doesn't want to fall over. Okay, we'll try again. Trying to make it fall over. Right, there we go. Oh, no. <laughs> well, it does seem to stay upright. If it does, it's very hard to get it actually to tip over. During normal use, it really shouldn't happen. I'm being a bit rough with it. There we, there we go, it's pirouetting. So that, it does seem, yes, it does seem to self right. So, that's a feature that seems to work. Before I go, one final shot. I'll just put a little bit of dirt down on the carpet, just to give it a very brief performance test. Not on pet hair, but just on some general dirt. And then please subscribe if you don't already, because I will be doing very shortly a review of this. I'll be doing a shorter review for AO.com, but after I've done the short review, I'll be doing one of my more in-depth reviews. But the short review should show you what you need to know if you want to buy this. So, as a last parting shot, I'll put some dirt down on the carpet and we'll see how effective this new Dyson is at removing it. Right then, I've just put a little bit of dirt down for an initial test. There's some dust and pet hairs and other bits and pieces mixed in. Let's see how well this Dyson Big Ball Animal does at removing this dirt. Well, the pet hair, that's certainly an improvement over my Dyson DC28C. So, initial first impressions are quite good for this brand new Dyson. Well, that's the end of my unboxing and first look at the Dyson Kinetic Big Ball Animal Vacuum Cleaner. Stay tuned for the full review, which will follow very soon. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.